Now we go to fundamental problem eight nine. Okay, you have two blocks, block uh, A and B. Uh, block B is resting on uh, block A, while block B is pulled by uh, a cable, right? Uh, with force P, and this this is the machine of this block B, two hundred millimeter and forty millimeter, and you are told about the you are, you are given the 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 coefficient of friction between A and B, A and B sorry, to be zero point three and between block A with the floor as 0 0.1 okay so the question asks you to find what is the maximum the largest force P okay which can be applied with a causal motion so basically this is at the verge of again this is about uh, this the problem about at the verge of sliding or I mean moving motion moving okay it's about to move so here you just you have to realize there are three possible uh, motions here. The first one is block B slides on A. Okay, slips block B slips on A. That's one thing, and that's the first case. The second possibility is case number two is block B when you pull like this with block B, block B will tip on A. Tip. Right, that's the second possibility. The third possibility is block A will slip on the ground together with block B. Alright, so we have to see which one between these three are the case. Okay, so let's look at the first case. What is the first case? First case is case number one is block B slips on block A. Alright. So if you draw the free body diagram for case A, you have P here, right? P, 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 O, okay? P at the top. What else you have? You have the weight of it, okay? The weight of the uh, block B, which is uh, you're given the mass of uh, block B to be 10 kilogram, okay? So it is 10 times 9.8.1 meter, okay? Okay, what else you have? You have the friction force FAB, okay? The friction force between A and B, FAB, and you have the normal force between A and B, which is NAB. Okay, you have this three, isn't it? This is again the case of uh, block block B slips on block A. Okay. So if you do the, the after you have done this from the crime, you do the home equations of equilibrium, okay? You have FI equals to zero. So you have N A B going up minus 98.1, okay? Equals to zero. So you have N A B obviously is the weight itself, which is 98.1 meter. Okay? And we, we have said about this, on the verge of sleeping, that this is going to occur, so your FAB is in fact mu AB, right? Not this one, this one, between A and B. Mu AB and AB, okay? Why? Because this is at the verge of sleeping, okay? So you have 0 0.3 times 9 over 1. So your FAB, okay, in case 1, is... Okay, we, we, I, I don't think we, we have to solve this. We just mention first. And then we do f x equal to 0. Okay. We can solve, but. Okay, so in this case, your P max, okay, f x equal to 0, your P max, P max minus f a b, isn't it? Equals to 0. So your P max equals to f a b, which is 0 0.3 times 9.81. In this case, it is 29.43. Okay. This is your P max in the case one. Okay. This is a possible answer, right? But we have to check for the those other two uh, cases, possible cases. So case number two, what is case number two? Case number two is you st still have the same P, right? And then you have the W, which is 9.1, right? And then what else you have? You have 
you have point O here, right? And then you have this N uh N A B N A B here. Okay? Of course you have the friction as well. F A B. In this case, why N A B and the uh, and the H? Because it is about to, to tip, right? It's about to tip. It is about to and here. Yeah. It's about to tip. Isn't it? So this in this case NAB is at the edge, which is uh for instance if x equals to zero in the middle, so it is at x equal to 150. Right? So what you have to do is you do moment about point O, okay, you will you will eliminate uh FAB and you can find your NAB. Of course you can find your P minus as well. Oh, sorry, not point over here. You do one more point, this point, sorry, this point. Right, so you do aim at this and that. Okay, so you do moment about this tipping point. Okay, summation of moment about point over the tipping point equals to E max times what is the distance? It is 400, isn't it? 400 millimeter. Okay, minus 98.1 the weight. Okay, times this distance which is 150 mm right equals to zero so in this case for case number two which is tipping your p max you solve this you get your p max to be 36.79 meter okay so we have we will solve case number three as well but you see between case number one and case number two which one is the which one will occur first Okay, number one, right? Because it's smaller. E max is smaller, right? So this one will occur first compared to this one. Okay, but we we are not done. Yet. We are not done yet. We have to individual another one. So, what is the the third one? The third one is case number three. Let me uh, go to erase this one. Right? And redraw. Okay. Finally, case number three. What is case number three? Case number three is when both blocks move together. I mean, when we use the term that uh, block A at the bottom uh, slides on on the floor on the ground. Okay. So case number three, you have two blocks together. Okay. You have two blocks together. You have P at the top, right? And then of course you have this W of eight point one Newton. And then here you have W equals to 7 times 9.1. You have 2, right? 10 kilogram, and then this is 7 kilogram uh, block. Right? What else you have? You have the friction FA between the block A with the, the ground, and you have N A between uh, block A with the ground. Okay? So in this case, we do f x equal to zero. No, let's do f equal to zero first. Why? The reason because in f y you just have you can solve and you can consider that if you do f y equal to zero as your first equation, okay, you can solve and directly. You have n a minus n a point one ten kilogram minus seven times n a one, which is the seven kilogram block a. Okay, so you can get your n a from this directly. Which is a one six six point seven seven newton. Okay, and then again on the verge of flipping, this F A equals to mu. What is the mu? What is the name again? I forgot. Uh, mu A. They call it mu A and A, isn't it? And your mu A is zero point one. Okay, your mu A is zero point one. Your N A is one six six. 0.77 newton. So your FA, your friction force here uh, between block A and the ground is 16.67 newton. Okay. Okay, and then you do your okay. Let me erase this. You just need this right to max. Next, you do f x equals to zero because uh, you need this p. Okay, so you have p max, this p, 
right? Uh, minus F B equals to zero. Okay, so your B max equals to F B, which is sixteen point six seven. Okay, so you see, you have P max from case one, thirty nine. P max from case two, thirty six. While P max for case three is sixteen. So which one is your P max? It is sixteen point six seven. And what kind of motion? Block A moves on the ground together with block B. Of course, it doesn't slide. I mean, that block B doesn't slide. I mean, block B doesn't slide with respect uh, with respect to A. It moves together with A. Okay.